Burying a child is every parent's worst nightmare. In 2008, it's something a Fort Wayne woman had to do after she lost her son who reached for his cell phone while driving. Her family's heartbreak is something she hopes can serve as a powerful warning to the rest of us. I felt like my heart, like a piece of me, had taken flight. The pain was so... indescribable. So Rodney had left home to go pick up a friend. We were gonna watch movies. He said, Mom, I love you. I said, I love you too, so you wouldn't get back. Those were the last words she'd say to her son. It was an October night. Rodney Thompson was making this turn on the west side of Fort Wayne when he reached over to pick up his phone. He lost control and died instantly. He's my oldest child, and my only child for 10 years. He's just a senior in high school, about to embark on so many things in life. Unfortunately, tragedies like this happen far too often. It's extremely frustrating. Um, it's heartbreaking for the families that are involved, um, that are affected by a fatal crash like that, especially when we know that it could easily have been prevented. Which is why Rodney's mom, Davida, along with police, are doing all they can to prevent another family from feeling this heartbreak. While she's been a longtime advocate for a hands-free driving law, Indiana police only began enforcing one last summer. We're looking for head down, paying attention to the lap, paying attention to this area over here. And if I wanted to stop people for cell phone violations only, I could fill a couple ticket books in a matter of a couple hours. Despite the new law, they're still catching distracted drivers regularly. So far, more than 1,000 Hoosiers have been pulled over for using their phones while driving. Yep, so just that easy. So I noticed you're sitting here on your cell phone. Do you have your driver's license on you? Davida plays her part in this mission through her organization, STAN. So stop texting and driving distracted. Um, when my son died for such a unnecessary reason, I, I said I didn't want his death to be in vain. And so it just pressed upon my heart to raise awareness against texting and driving distracted. I love you. His spirit lives with us. I mean, look at that smile. It's priceless. Sergeant Walker says if you need to have your phone out while driving, the best place for it is a mount. Even with that, the only time you should be using your phone is if you're at a stoplight. Natalie Clydesdale, Wayne 15 News.